Hi, I'm Kristen, and I've been single for the last two years. My dating detox has been honestly very enjoyable, enlightening, and stress relieving, but I'm not ready to stir things up and try my luck at finding my future wife. So at the end of 2021, I went to Sweden, where I boarded the LGBTQ plus bus. Literally, rainbows were welcoming me into the country. There I met up with Daria, a psychotherapist, sustainability content creator, my very good friend, and also my dating app wing woman for this mission. Cheers. 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 Well, thank you for having me. So we have champagne, which is called cool. not patriarchy. We almost got a champagne that was called patriarchy. <laughs> so this is her. Mm -hmm. It's a nap that's specifically for women. Ages is 27 to 34. Mm -hmm. That's a good Like three idea. years down, three years mm -hmm. older than me. Maybe I mean, 35. 35, exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because 36 year olds. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no! <laughs> These are my pictures. That one is super nice. I love that one. The birthday yeah. one. Because you like, you're enjoying your life and you look like a positive person. Yeah, me, meanwhile, not smiling. <laughs> oh, bio, bio. Mm. I don't have a bio. So. Oof, that's so hard. No, I, I know what I want. Do you have a house near a ski center? <laughs> Just write winter house. Do you or your parents <laughs> have yeah. a winter house near a ski resort? If yes, <laughs> <laughs> I have two vacation homes. They're not mine. They're my. They yeah. belong to my family, and one of them is occupied by my uh, sociopathic uncle. <laughs> He's squatting in it. But I will get rid of him for my future wife. <laughs> Do not worry. You have to say the places Wait. like that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two summer vacation homes in Greece and in Portugal. Mm. We can spend our summers at the beach. My bio was like, don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink, don't do drugs. We could spend our falls on volcanic islands in Portugal, our summers at the beach in Greece, and winters skiing all day long. Exhausting. That <laughs> sounds exhausting. And then chilling in front of your fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna write anything about you. I think my two beach houses say enough about okay. me. <laughs> I say I'm 169. I used to be 170. <laughs> Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stressful. No. Okay, how do I say no? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's coming back again. Like, we're just gonna swipe it in all possible directions and it's direction. coming back. <laughs> Okay, it's this oh, way. This so is fun. a no. I'm not gonna show their pic their like faces, yeah, obviously. obviously. So she's wearing a flower crown. But that's like midsummer. Another flower crown. Yeah, that's the day they take pictures. So ah. you're gonna see a lot of this. And Why do I think she's kind of cute? I don't see a ski center. But you can see a winter, like a fence. A winter fence. <laughs> a winter fence. <laughs> the bar has fallen. That's a start. That's a start. The bar went very low. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice picture though, like adventures. She's yeah, adventurous. Yeah, she is adventurous, but not like really good quality. It's like iPhone pictures. Oh my god. It's, like, Andro <laughs> it's not even iPhone pictures, it's Android photos. <laughs> I'm not dating anyone with an Android. Oh my god. And if they don't have a Pila case, then I don't <laughs> I'm obviously joking. Both Android and iPhones are made unethically and unsustainably by companies that put profit over people in the environment. So swipe left on those companies and swipe right on secondhand phones in Pila cases. Pila are the creators of the world's first and best plant-based phone cases that are 100% compostable, which means they'll break down in a backyard or industrial compost, but not in your pocket. Pila cases are also super soft and drop-proof with military-grade protection for up to six feet, which is almost two meters. They are B Corp certified, which is a certification rewarded only to businesses that meet the highest social and environmental standards. They're also climate neutral certified and a member of the 1% for the planet, where they contribute at least 1% of sales each year to an environmental cause. I've been using the lavender hemp model, but they recently sent me three new cases that I was very excited to unbox. This one is for my sister's phone, and these are for me. Oh my god, these colors, I want to eat them. Probably shouldn't. Although they're not made of plastic, so maybe nothing would happen, but it's probably not a good idea. This is your opportunity to make the switch from conventional phone cases to Pila cases, because Pila is offering an amazing discount for my viewers. The first 50 subscribers to visit the link in my description and use the code KristenLeo will get 50% off their order. Huge thank you to Pila love for sponsoring today's video. Let's keep going. Let's keep judging women. <laughs> no. Oh my god, tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> that 
<laughs> since you get triggered. Yeah, I like tattoos in general, like if you want to express yourself, but not the ones that are super like visible. I don't know. Okay. Well, I am planning on getting a sleep, so that's <laughs> gonna be a I see Noski. Noski. <laughs> These are very basic. She has a triangle tattoo mm. with other triangles inside of it. Can we see also the bio, sorry? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, the Just app. looking for an un undemanding mutual relationship and maybe dogs. We are, um... Opposites. Yeah. I like dogs. Mm -hmm. And I want someone that's not but like, demanding. <laughs> but like, what do you want as a, in a person? Like, at least you write something. So someone that isn't demanding, that doesn't want things. <sighs> I Essentially, I just want an extra dog. <laughs> and I don't want to buy it myself. So I, I want to, someone to bring it to me. <laughs> yeah. Without demanding anything from me. That's what I want. <laughs> so, we are taking a pause now. And I have to do my washing <laughs> because I'm in Sweden and I have to book you don't it have, You don't have to explain yourself to them. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep swiping and see if I find anything. Someone. Really. Someone, please. <laughs> I just wanna ski. <laughs> Foods should not be like an every. Oh. You need to have it on top. No. <laughs> on New Year's Eve, while everyone else was still sleeping, I headed out to the frozen lake outside of the cabin. I've never walked on a frozen lake before, so that was a first for me. I was hesitant at first because I didn't know if the ice would just crack under my weight, but people were riding their snowmobiles on it, and I'm almost sure that I'm lighter than a snowmobile, so I think I was safe. There in the middle of the frozen lake, I resumed my search for my wife. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't seem like any humans or any other life forms for that matter were keen on enjoying quiet time on top of a vast solidified body of water which I find very strange. Jokes aside, the wife search is obviously a hyperbole. I'm not making Pinterest boards with cake and wedding dress inspo. I'm just very slowly putting myself back out there. I learned a lot about myself after everything that happened since the beginning of 2020, and I've expressed in multiple videos how comp pet has impacted me. But one thing that I never mentioned in any of my videos was the impact of queer baiting on why it took me so damn long to identify as queer myself. I noticed how women that identify as queer but only date men are painted as frauds, not only online, but in the real world as well, and they're even accused of queer baiting. The heteros would say they identify as queer for attention or because being gay is trendy, <laughs> and the queer community would say they are exploiting us and embarrassing us. To be completely honest, I held that belief myself, and you know where that came from? Jealousy. Deep down, I was jealous of the women that could break free from societal constructs and not give a damn if their identity makes both the heteros and the queers mad at them. But sexuality is not an identity that requires receipts or approval from others. There are many reasons why queer women might not have had the chance to date other women. For one, it's a much smaller dating pool. And for two, mind your damn business. I am forcing Daria to come out in the snow and take pictures with me. Oh, I'm happy to join. No, no, it's really stable. It's super stable. I like stomped on it. No, don't worry. It's like... I'm gonna fall. No, you're not gonna fall. I'm afraid. <laughs> All these uh, footsteps are mine. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> vegan caviar taste test. The vegan one or the... No, it's first time trying the vegan one. Doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> I 
I walked to the middle of the lake. Nature is so fucking beautiful, man. It's so beautiful, bro. Look at how beautiful nature is, like, seriously. Look at how thick that ice is, god damn. <laughs> okay, I really need to stop acting like a five-year-old boy. Good morning from Hofors in Sweden. A little dating app update. Sad news, I haven't found my wife yet. It's very unfortunate. The good news is, I think I have made a friend. I am very popular with the ladies, so I've had quite a few matches, but unfortunately, not a lot of people message first, and I'm also equally antisocial, so I'm not messaging anyone first either. The one person that did message me, we might meet up in Stockholm, but there's definitely like friend vibes there. Anyways, you get it. Wife not found so the search continues me and daria was hey. here she brought me to a vegan buffet i have a new one yes in the top. and buffets are my weakness even though i'm not like starving i will stuff myself up the place is called choo choo we're starting with the salad we have vegan tuna fish we have vegan shrimp salad and then everything else i have not yet daria has abandoned me but i have met lee an amazing photographer that lives here in Stockholm and she's taking some really cool pictures I'm gonna link her Instagram below so you can check her out but she has like amazing photos and she's very humble she will not accept how beautiful her photos are but <laughs> thank you for showing no wait 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 choose <laughs> one I'm gonna zoom in like do a thinking these are so cool. I mean, I look stupid, but <laughs> no. We've literally done a whole tour of Stockholm and I filmed none of it because we were taking pictures. I can't wait to see the photos, honestly. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, what does that mean? I'm not gonna see the pictures. You're gonna see that. The best ones. I'm gonna see the best, well, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so we are now in Copenhagen. It's time to wear the mask. I made this one. Yeah, it's Let's do so it. nice. It's painted with flowers. This is like the basic mask. And I made you like another fancy one. The fancy I keep for tonight. And I've got like double protection because like I really do not want to get sick. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spiral. I'm not gonna spiral. Everyone's sick. We have just arrived. In Finally. The... Hello Kristen! Howdy citizen Kristen. Oh <laughs> you can customize mm, the color. Wait, what is this? The light. Is wait, this like wait, but you have to wait a bit, I think. No, nothing happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're standing here like <laughs> with the camera and the lights are changing behind her, like I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Daria, are you ready? <laughs> oh, no. I'm thinking since I had no luck in Sweden, <laughs> we're, I'm gonna try my luck in Denmark. The problem is... What was the problem? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, there are many problems. There are no ski slopes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Doctor. doctor. What? Imagine naming your kid doctor. <laughs> Here's my, my daughter doctor and my other daughter lawyer. <laughs> okay, it's a no. Oh. What? Oh my god, that's a nightmare! No, 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 no. Two no. hours later. No, no. <laughs> I swear I like women. I swear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swipe right, but I'm not gonna message her because I don't like the dress she's wearing in the first picture. Oh, she looks cool! Yay! It's a match, finally. She looks cool, right? Mm. Do I message her? Yes! Oh, dude. Okay, so I'm sending like a message for the first time. Should it be a GIF? No, no GIF. You're not 50 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> what if it's just like a cat saying hello? <laughs> no, a proper message. Like a little bit of effort. I would be happy to communicate with people exclusively with GIFs. <laughs> I don't know if there's like anything in her profile pictures worth asking. Do you have like three dogs? Because if you do, then That's unmatch me. Should I just be like, are all of those dogs yours? <laughs> <laughs> what What does a person message a woman without so sounding like creepy? And without any bio information. Like Should I just shame her for not having a bio? Yeah, I would do that. I would write like, no effort to write bio. 
Exclamation point! I hate this. This is not fun. You have to take some risk. I just don't like... But you went to the dating app to do that. That was the point. <laughs> to like... talk to people. It's just like one plus one is equals. Don't overthink it. And that's all I do. This is why I have my sister to answer my emails because I <laughs> cannot answer people without overthinking it. Okay, it's are all those dogos yours? <gasps> Yes! Okay. Oh my god, we did it! We sent one message. She has a ferret. Appropriate way to start our day with vegan cake and a vegan latte. <laughs> Approved. Oh my god. Final night in Copenhagen. Wine, dessert, wine, and vegan dessert. Huzzah! Huzzah! After messaging Marie, are all those doggos yours? Exclamation point, question mark, shook emoji. She replied with, Oh, I wish. I was dog sitting the cocker spaniel. My friend's roommate owned the curly one, and the last one we just met at the dog park. Her name was Magret, Orange Heart. It took her more than 24 hours to reply. She didn't ask me a question back, which leaves things pretty one sided and boring, so I left it there. As the trip was coming to an end, I might have not succeeded in finding my wife, <laughs> and I've definitely come across as super picky. But the thing is, I know exactly what kind of person I'm looking for. This person exists. Finding them is the hard part. Maybe they're not in Sweden. Maybe I never get to meet them at all. But no matter what, I'm glad I'm putting myself back out there. <laughs>